Hello everyone, my name is Nomus and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here shortly after our last episode. Just heading back over towards the parking lot. Clear out some more Zeds. It is 4.30 in the afternoon of May 18th, which puts us 15 days since the last helicopter event. Delmer is highly anticipating that third helicopter to show up tomorrow. We did get the uh, CIA coded message on the radio this morning about, uh, I believe it was Sector 14. We can expect to probably see that helicopter show up tomorrow. I've been waiting for this helicopter before we push too much further forward. It's taking its time, for sure. But uh, we'll get it out of the way here fairly soon. We've started moving west down the road past the gas station. There is a large parking lot here for the hospital, which has a number of cars. We've already identified a few that have keys, and at least one or two that have keys and gas. We're most likely going to be taking one of those out. Not today. Well, depending, I mean, if the helicopter does come first thing tomorrow, then we might do it today in this episode. We'll take it out on a scouting mission up towards the uh, the Spiffo's headquarters. See exactly what that looks like. Population-wise. But right now, we're just going to be doing what we do every day. Clear in some Zeds. I've also noticed that the uh, road heading north along the east side of the hospital is getting clear again. All the zombies are decomposing, so there's progress being made over there. As far as uh, nature doing its thing and cleaning up. few dismantles here. Again, we are now exactly halfway. Level four. Stay on top of that. Ooh. That was a missed time. A couple missed times. Also got a few cars over there in the golf course parking lot, but that's behind fence. That's not going to be ideal for us. This one up here, though, will be ideal. And if we can get cleared out and have the larger groups in the immediate area around the parking lot cleared out, we could also use this parking lot for some mechanic training. There's a lot of options for cars in there to practice on. In the last episode, we also maxed out our light-footed skill. Now that is our first skill maxed out. It's our light-footed. Level 10. Getting really close on leveling up strength to level 6. We got uh, less than 4,000 XP to go there. That will be happening pretty soon. We also just got our level 7 short blade and level 7 maintenance not too long ago. Otherwise, looks like sprinting uh, will be next closest to level up. Maybe sneaking. Yeah, look at all these potential training cars. Let's head up inside. Take out the next group here. On and off rain. Good for topping up the rain barrel that we have at our base now. We've got fresh running water at the front door. 
which is great. I've started uh, moving some of our water bottles over to that cabinet. So we have lots of extra water just right there at the front door for us. We can wash strips of leather every time we come home now. Keep a good stock of that. Let's check this. Okay, we got another group down there and a few more up here. Let's finish this group up here. Oh, we also need to start, uh, we'll probably need to do a scavenging run soon for food. We've still got canned food at home, but wouldn't mind trying to find some more cereal. A few more fatty, high calorie food items. I think we have stopped gaining weight. I think we're back to losing weight again. Yeah, we're, we're 73 and dropping. So we want to keep that push going for 75 and above. This back into a prime fighting weight. Still technically have the uh, damage debuff from being underweight. But even with that, we are still laying waste to the neighborhood. Alright, that side looks good. Let's go take care of this corner up here. Perfect. A couple on that fence. But this is the big one we want to take care of down here. It's another dart down there too. We are getting pretty uh, hungry here. Screwdriver on this corpse as well. See another map here. I think we're still looking for that one section of the city, aren't we? Let's double check. Oh no, we got it all. Okay. We're good on Louisville maps now. Oh, we're still looking for that uh, western chunk. And look at that. Oh my god, there's the warehouse that we want to get to. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of zombies. Did they hear something? Must have been a meta noise over there. That's a lot of movement that way. Another screwdriver. Delmer just looks over there and... Ah, shit. Here we go again. Doesn't stop, does it, man? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> so many fences. Just drawing zombies along them. I'll 
tall fences can be your friend in Project Zomboid. They can also cause all sorts of issues. I we had two maps on them. Another screwdriver. It's our third one today. Already. Fishing rod. Both of these might be uh, decent cars. A key. I can be pretty loud. No gas. Let's take a look under the hood. Forty-seven quality, fifty-eight loudness. Just mark this off that it has a key. What are we doing? Um, black with a key, right? Blue circle. Alright, so parking lot clear. For how long? I don't know. It's a little banged up. And it's locked. Another option here. Checking all the cars, but we'll poke our head in a few of them. There's a couple keys there. Chevy Nyala key. That's for that wreck there. Let's mark this one. So even if it takes us a while to get level two mechanic for oh, not that one. For hot wiring, there's a lot of options for cars. We just need some gas inside. Yeah, that's that one. Another gas can. Speaking of. <laughs> I know, Arcturus. So many options, hey? So many different cars. More duct tape, nice. It's gonna be a few uh, hunting knives fixed up. Screwdriver. Hey, Arcturus, come here. Hey, come here, buddy. What's the matter, man? Why are you all stressed out? Live a pretty damn good life. Nothing to be stressed out about. Take it easy. This was one we marked off earlier. Well, yeah, no shortage of screwdrivers today. Alcohol wipes, let's take those. A 
French. Right, let's take a look at these ones down here. We'll head back home. This one has a key. Did we mark this one? in good condition. Key? No, but we got 9 mil. And a screwdriver. It's a condition on this one overall. Ooh, 37 quality. 25 loudness though. Very quiet. Just not the greatest. It was a big gas tank. And I'm just going to mark it as that. I would not say that's a yet. Survivor grade car. This one's got a key. Finally, a dart with a key. Forty quality, twenty-eight loudness. This might be our scout car. Small gas tank. That's fine. Performance suspension, regular brakes, performance tires. Okay. All right. This is the. Uh, this is the one. I think. Should get some gas in here. So, let's move that, put this guy here, uh, that's a good dart, alright, happy with that, and holy crap is it dark. Let's get home. Getting tired as well. Got to stuff our face when we get home. I should just leave the car here. Uh, in case, no. If the helicopter comes tomorrow, we should probably have this at home. Risk drawing zombies to the house. Ooh, and we're gonna draw them to the house. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a uh, quite a few to deal with here, and we're tired. Might want to circle around these buildings. Try and kill some of them on the road. Uh, it's hard to see. Let's just scoot around this building. In case anyone's following us. Careful. Not sure if that's enough to deter anyone. We'll hear them soon enough, though, if they're still coming. Let's see anyone right there. Okay. Let's clean up the leather strips. Water. 
Get some food. Have, let's see, milk. Do pineapple. Dropping weights. Um, what else can we take here? Just bolognese. Another pineapple too. Still dropping, but I don't have to do for now. Stuff dropped off. Uh, thread here. Bandage. It's got more thread. Drop that. Broken stuff. There, I've got another crate over here now for guns and ammo. Add over. Gas can, we'll just put down. Okay, duct tape. Let's use that to repair some hunting knives. I don't have any broken ones on me, so we'll take some from the chest there. We got everything else dropped off. I think we're good. Alright, so which ones have not been repaired yet? Let's start with those three. Perfect. Okay. Go on duct tape now. Let's repair a couple more. Should have some more. Yeah, do two more. Awesome. In the backpack. Hold on to that. Good, so we got five extra hunting knives ready to go. Let's turn our alarm on. We'll get up before that, but just in case. And go to sleep. Oh, we actually slept in. 8.20. All right, so we're good to go, right? Turn that on. Uh, we're slightly overburdened. Let's put that away. I picked up some more beta blockers as well. There's our bottle here. Let's just combine these. We're waiting for this broadcast to come on. Find those. Yeah. Deny this galore. That uh, duct tape. Big find. What do we need to read? I don't think we have anything to read. Just need forging two and cooking five. Those are ones we don't have. Yeah. 
So for this helicopter, we're not going to be really doing anything. Just hanging out. All right, here it comes. All right, another uh, Charlie India Alpha. Sector 28 this time. Sector 14 yesterday. I've always interpreted that as like the helicopters making its way through different sectors. I've never actually paid attention to see if like the air activity days actually line up with like the same sector numbers. Yeah, air activity detected. Okay. We don't go outside today. Just hole up in our bathroom. Get some food. And we'll head in there. Okay, we got our food. Uh, there's also still some dog food in here and apparently we uh, forgot about our bowl of stew from earlier. Wish I would have had the um, extra two books that we need to read. Get those done today. Oh well. All right, let's put that in there. Let's take our antidepressant. Let me get our journal out. Right in here. So, May, what is it, 19 now? We'll see what time it starts at. Uh, but that is gonna go on 16 days. The third helicopter. Okay, so I'm going to edit through this part. I'll record when the helicopter starts, when it ends. Hopefully it's just as quiet as it was on the last one. Uh, last two helicopters have been four hours, four and a half hours. So we can probably expect uh, somewhere similar uh, on this one. And then uh, you know we'll be able to start uh, forming a pattern from here on out. Uh, hopefully. Uh, or at least get a, a range. Maybe not a pattern, but at least a range of uh, uh, helicopter times. Okay, be back in a little bit. Okay, helicopter started at 5 p.m. It's 5.50 right now, almost one hour. We do have knocking. On, uh... That's gotta be our front door. Sounds very close. We'll see how this pans out. Hopefully it doesn't um, escalate too much. Yeah, one hour down. We'll cut back again here. Okay, 10.30. Uh, looks like it went until 9, so that's another four hours. Hasn't come back again, so I think we are good. We'll call that four hours. And we definitely still have zombies outside, so... Ooh, are we ready to go out? Let's do this. Oh, and it's actually not on our door. Is that next door or is that on the barricade? No, I think it's next door. Yeah, and it's next door. They still had a door. So one zombie showed up. Oh no, we got more. Oh, they're moving about. Okay, let's go back inside. I think we'll take care of that in the morning. Oh yeah, I hear some outside as well in the back. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's uh, have one more thing of food before we go to bed. Oh yeah, we got lots to take care of tomorrow. Love the milk. We're still losing weight though. Might have to delve into that. Maybe I should have that peanut butter. Oh, that stopped it. Okay. Anyway, let's find our peanut butter here. 
Let's have that whole jar. We need to boost ourselves to uh, 75. Okay, so that's good. All right, sounds like we're going to be clearing zombies uh, in the neighborhood tomorrow morning. Well, we survived our third helicopter. Just one knocker. Okay, um, I'm going to kill some time until we get tired and we'll cut back in the morning. Okay, 620. Let's go. Start clearing Zeds. Ooh. <laughs> Waiting for us right outside. Alright, come a little way away from our door. Might want to just shout. Actually, we'll take a look at the front first. Clear out what we can see, and then we'll do some shouting in our our block. Ooh, hello. Good thing I didn't shout there. Just a slight panic. Paired knives. One crawler. A very foggy day. Alright, back here looks okay. Still kind of surprised that after three helicopters, we there are still intact doors in this stretch of houses. Let's shout over here. Ooh. <laughs> it's a big group over there. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more eventful than the last helicopter, eh? Hey? Last one was pretty quiet. Got a lot more folks here, though, this time. Could do some fence work here. Let's pull some over. Ah, actually, I should take a better block here. Make sure we get these one-hit kills. Next one. Someone inside. Let's close that. Let's do some 
some more shouts over here. Yeah, I think we can clean them up on the fences. Good. It's pretty good down there. Let's do some more shouts here. Right, let's get our knife out. Put those away. And they are piling into the gas station. Alright. Let's get some food. We'll go take care of that. Let's fill up our water too. It's almost empty. back here. Take care of these first. So we should do some shouts back here. Let's go down one more block, or one more housing unit. Do another couple shouts back here. Just pull out any stragglers. Like that. And like that. Just keep that open. I think that's on the other side of the fence we're hearing. Okay. Let's get food. Oh, one more over here. Quick look around the corner. All right. Food. So, we could make a salad. Let's do that. Tomato. Can we put peas in a salad? Find out. No. Could do a stir fry and just eat it raw. Or we could fire up the generator for quick man just to cook this put some meat in there let's fire up the generator A 
little lard. Okay, let's throw that in there. No, oh, I guess we can put the corned beef into a salad. Okay, that's good to know. Let's use up these ingredients, these uh, leftovers. Bit of mustard. Actually, we'll save this in our backpack. We'll just eat this stuff. Okay, let's fire this up. This doesn't bring the whole neighborhood. There's any movement. Ah, they're too far away to hear that. I'm not gonna care about that. But if there's anyone else lingering here, they will definitely come out. I think we're okay though. It's actually a pretty good um, spot for a generator. So we've got this area fenced off, this area fenced off. If anyone hears it on that side or this side, it's, uh, they got a pretty long walk to actually get around the fence. Should really just be the front of the house we need to worry about. But I think we're okay out front. Now, this should be a pretty good stir fry. It's 94 hunger right now. It should be pretty hearty. One We're gonna eat the whole thing. Good. All right, still getting weight. Excellent. All right, we got that salad in the backpack. Let's get out there, clear these out. So yeah, the uh, scouting mission will have to be next episode. This is gonna take up the rest of our time today. Resecuring our neighborhood. I think it's just these two groups, unless there's a group within the homes across there. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll start with this. Uh, it's just a few there. Start with this group. Uh, we could also, we could farm some sneaking here. So we got. Lot of uh, eyes around us. We at thirty-one seventy-two. Let's see if it's worth it. Yeah, fifty. May not be enough around us. Yeah. Deal with them. Fog has completely lifted.
Yeah, I don't think we have enough Zeds around here to make farming and sneaking worthwhile. I mean, I guess it's always worthwhile, but it's not going up as fast as I would like to see it go up for that. Just let it naturally go up. Unless we find ourselves in a good position with uh, hordes of zombies around us. We'll have a fresh batch of corpses around here to rip up clothing from. That's near to home. It's on the good side. Must be most of the last of uh, this group. Hey, it's a meat cleaver. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Grab that. Nice. Okay. More matches. Let's have a smoke. Still some more there than that group. And then they're starting to fill over there again. I mean, that, uh, that lawn is probably a mess again. Or by the hospital. Ooh, a spear. A hunting knife spear, too. Well, that might be our first spear we get to use. It's technically got a short blade on it. I think we can use that. Right, let's grab that. We're actually going to Use that spear right away. First bit of spear action in this series. Fun times. Alright, let's put those away. Because we're getting a little heavy here. There we go. So yeah, we have no XP into Spear. Let's see what we can get with this. With uh, our level 7 maintenance, first use of a Spear. So with our first use of a uh, Machete, we were able to get two levels. 
Not sure if we'll go quite that far with one spear. Maybe one level, if we're lucky. I think this will still break pretty fast. If we can get one level, I'd be super happy. I'm uh, skeptical if we'll get that far. It will give us a good idea of just how powerful maintenance can be, though. Because we know how fast spears break. We've had a fair bit of experience with spears. Alright, so. First volley. 21 XP. It's almost a third. And still got a decent amount of condition there. It wasn't 100% to start off with. Maybe we'll get level one. But look at that. Exhaustion. Something we don't see very often, but as soon as we pick up a spear, it shows up pretty quick. Second volley, almost halfway, and it's almost broken. So yeah, we're not going to get level one. Let's rest though. Pretty cool though. For one spirit, it's pretty good. Let's go, let's see, yeah, let's take the care of these ones back here. Yeah, there it goes, okay. Final tally. Almost halfway with one spear. And in return we get a hunting knife. That's a fair trade-off, I'd say. I'll take it. I will take that. Alright, let's reclaim the... Uh, hunting knife. Well, I guess we could continue using this. Finish it off. Might as well. Technically still one spear. One inside here. back here see what it looks like pop a pill Is done. Oh, that got us pretty close. 51 and 75. So, we're not going to use a spear again until we actually find one with like a hunting knife or a kitchen knife or something attached to it. That will be our 
That's gonna be our rule for spears, okay? At least for the first... Let's say for the first three levels of spear. We can only, we're only gonna use them if we find them. No crafting of spears. Until we get level three. That's fair. Okay, let's think about this. Let's go back and check the parking lot over here. So we got some down there. Some up there. Bunch, a whole bunch up here. Parking lot's a little bit further out though. Yeah. So to get to that dart. They clear that group. Probably at least that group. This one down here for sure. Let's start with this one. Actually might have just enough time to do this one and then call it a day. That's enough for our last group, I think. So 50 XP off of one spear. Our very first spear. I like it. Once we actually get to level 3 spear, and we can start crafting them, maybe the other, just to kind of keep with like the theme of short blade weapons for this series, maybe our other restriction is we can craft spears at level 3, but we have to attach a short blade. So whether that be like a kitchen knife or a screwdriver or hunting knife. What do you guys think? What do you think about that? It's my, uh, the, like the big, uh, our main theme, I guess, behind this run or the, um, the inspiration was I wanted to do, you know, if not a, a pure short blade run, you know, try and stick to that as much as possible, which is what we've been doing. Which I know, for some viewers, has uh, been a little frustrating, because it takes some time to get through the hordes. But, it's the, uh, it's the experience I want to have uh, in Zomboid before 42 comes out down the road. I want to make sure I, I get that short blade experience in this build. I think uh, one way that we can do to uh, still have some variety down the road, but um, kind of stick to that ethos, is uh, we're kind of restricting ourselves to attaching weapons, attaching short blades to our spears once we, we do allow ourselves to use them freely. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts down below. Uh, like, like, like with the machetes, we'll... We'll use them if we find them to help speed things up. 
It's still a blade weapon. We're only really using our crowbar. Really just for the express purpose of leveling up maintenance. That's kind of the, the main reason I'm keeping it on me. And then maintenance to help our short blades even more. So, everything combat wise is trying to be focused around the use of short blades long term. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for our uh, episode today, guys. Episode 20. Wow. This series has grown. Grown quickly, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's proving to be um, a good challenge, and I feel like this is... I don't know. It, it's giving me that pre-41 vibe a bit, you know? Takes me back. Just running around with knives and slaying hordes. Feels good. Feels like the good old days of Zomboid. Let me know your thoughts down below. We survived our third helicopter. A third helicopter <laughs> spent in here. Our four walls of our tiny bathroom. Which we are now filling up with cans. <laughs> Empty cans. Um, we do need to find those next books though for uh, the fourth helicopter. Hopefully we... Let's actually take out our journal here. 12 days, 16 days. I think, uh, you know, with pretty good certainty we can expect the next helicopter to uh, arrive at the start of June. Possibly at the end of May, but probably most likely start of June. And, uh, I mean, we're looking around four hours. We've had more early morning, kind of mid-morning and uh, late afternoon helicopters now. It'll be interesting to see if we have any helicopters show up after 5 p.m. I think 9, 10 a.m. is probably the earliest one would show up. So we're kind of getting the, uh, the upper and lower ranges time-wise for helicopters. I always enjoy tracking them in the journals. And skill-wise, we didn't really uh, level anything up today. Uh, but look at that. Look how close we are now to strength. Within 2,400, we started off at 4,000. So, I'd say another two episodes, we'll have strength level 6. We'll be able to carry a little bit more. And uh, that's going to just help us even more. We're getting closer to getting back to regular weight. We're at 73, back to gaining weight. Once we hit 76... We'll be in peak fighting condition. We'll try to get up to 80 kilograms overall. Give us a little bit of cushion, a little bit of buffer. And then um, once we've cleared up our immediate neighborhood again, uh, we're going to do a scouting mission. We're going to get that dart gassed up. And we're going to scout out kind of along this road here. We've got the railroad right here too. Actually might be some interesting stuff down here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to scout down this road with the dart. And then straight up, try to get to this intersection. Maybe even lay eyes on the prize. So, in the coming episodes, we'll try and get it done next episode. It might be another one, though, because we, we do have some cleanup to do around here from that helicopter. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. It helps the series, helps the channel. And uh, lets me know that, hey, we're enjoying the content. Check us out on our Discord, link down in the description. Would love to uh, chat with you guys on there. As well, we stream daily. Some people still don't know that we stream here on YouTube. We stream over on Twitch. We've been streaming on Twitch now, coming on two years. It'll be our two year anniversary come June 1st. And we have been on YouTube live, uh, coming on six months now, since the beginning of this year. So check us out, twitch.tv slash plays. And uh, right here on the channel. Daily Zomboid content live. All right, guys. Until then, uh, I will talk to you all later.